What's up, everybody? What's up? Make sure and get all the bells and whistles going this morning. Booyah. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? All right, so I changed things up a little bit. Brandy, what's up? Funko Biggie Daddy, Mary Triple Seven. Change things up a little bit. Move my mic down. So let me know if everything looks good, sounds good. Let me know if the music's too loud. Not loud, not loud enough. Friend, what's up? I forgot to plug in my... Uh, I forgot to plug in my heat gun this morning so uh waiting on that to warm up and uh if you're in east if you're in the eastern hemisphere of the united states if you look out your window you might see something we haven't seen in a while it's called flocking sunshine brandy happy birthday to the kids sizzle jones what's up give him a big old hug for me tell him i said happy birthday but yeah, I'm looking out the window and uh, I see sunshine. It's awesome. <laughs> We're just chilling, Sizzle. We're going to, um, I mean, you guys have seen me do some things with uh, dios. Um, now I'm going to show you something dio related, but uh, a little different. I'm telling you, I'm digging the sunshine. I'm digging it. Because right now, and I'll be honest with you, there's a there is a there's a 70% chance that I will be on my motorcycle after this stream when I go uh, pick up wait a minute. Yes, there will be a 70% chance I'll be on my motorcycle. Bob, speech fairies, what's up? It's early, guys. I know it's early. It's a, uh, yeah, we had a, we had a really, we had a pretty wicked little thunderstorm roll through here, uh, last night, but that's behind us now because there's sunshine out that window. Yeah, <laughs> Bob, I feel you, man. It seems like it's been like literally forever since we've seen the sunshine. See you, man. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to do something that, um, it's, it's really easy. This is so flipping easy. It ain't even funny, but it will, it's a game changer and you don't even have to have a diorama to use this. You can actually, um, you can use this just as a little accessories if you wanted to, but, um, yeah. So everybody, did anybody pick up anything cool yesterday, Saturday? Anybody go on a hunt? While I sit here and wait on my heating device to heat up. SDA, what's up? I picked up a few uh, a few things. I uh, got a video dropping tomorrow, 10 a.m. So you'll be able to see what I hunted for this weekend. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to have some fun. And I'm also going to show you another little trick um, that I've mentioned. So, but one of the things, so I use various things for dioramas. I build dioramas, I uh, also buy dioramas. And one of the places um, that I get dioramas from, uh, it'll, um, crap, it just totally... Harold Green, what's up? But uh, they do these little dioramas. Little, they're printed cardboard. Uh, they're actually really extreme sets. Extreme sets. Um, I've got several of these. Uh, they actually only keep them out for a limited number of time. So you just go to, uh, and I'll put a link and stuff, but it's um, extreme extreme sets just google it extreme i think it's extreme-sets.com uh, you can buy one of their kits for like 40 50 bucks uh, they got some really good detail they're they're like i said it's, it's printed cardboard 
But one of the things, if we sit here and look at it, is we need some kind of accessory. You know? We need something. Other than the figure. So if I take one of my if I take one of my, my titles. So oh yeah, by the way, big shout out to Drew at GameStop. He he replaced my turtle, my Mikey that had the broke arm. Um but if we look at it from the perspective of right there, right? We got a turtle. Look how easy that stood up. And we got a background. And we got a floor. Right, hey, you know. But dynamically, uh, there's some other things we can think about doing with the dioramas. And so I, I stumbled across a site. It's uh, uh, the website. It's the, um, the diotribe.com. And the beauty of the diotribe.com, number one, is that it actually teach you how to build walls and stuff like that, how to carve them and this and that. But they also have these signs they have clean ones and they have the weathered like we look at the employees here's the clean one and here's the weathered one right there and they're on paper and that'll work however let's take it a, a next step and make it more like a sign so the only thing you need to do this is you need to print off one of these right here just print it off normal paper nothing major you need some heavy duty non name brand aluminum foil don't get the cheap stuff heavy duty heavy duty and you need some uh, just inexpensive spray adhesive get this from uh, Michaels it's like you know four or five bucks a can a little bit goes a long way and what you do is you spray the back side of the paper and you spray the aluminum foil and what I typically do is I will take the aluminum foil and you got two sides to it you got the shiny side and you got the dull side I use the dull side so you take your aluminum foil out sound effects spray it take your uh, I usually do the paper first lay it on top of the actual aluminum foil spray it and then when you lift this up you have an outline of the actual paper and spray it uh, you need to let this stuff almost dry um, don't don't stick it when it's wet wait till it dries and then you basically just stick it right then you come up with this this is the end result right here i, I pre-done some um none and uh just to sort of give you a, you know blah 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 then what i typically do is i trim all the excess out so that gives you a nice pliable workable surface and you need one of these. You can use scissors. Uh, scissors work great. Nothing wrong with scissors. Um, my scissors are downstairs, so I'm using my little hobby knife. So, which one? Now, typically, what I would do is I'll come straight down lengthwise and cut them out. you can use metal foil tape uh, metal foil tape it works great it's aluminum foil is cheaper <laughs> and I can do a whole sheet instead of like pulling out most of the aluminum foil tape I've seen is in strips or like AC duct work I like the aluminum foil because I can do a whole page at one time but yes uh, foil tape will do the same thing Usually foil tape's more expensive than uh, aluminum foil. And you can get aluminum foil at the grocery store. Just saying. So we're going to use the uh, unauthorized personnel. 
So once you, once you get one actually cut out. Now we do this just a little bit of trim work. Just a little trimmage. And I usually want to keep a little bit of the black line showing. That's just me personally. And these little cutting mats right here, worth their weight in gold. I'm telling you, worth their weight in gold. And you can get these at Walmart, um, Target. I think I got this one at Walmart. Get this thing lined up a little bit. Trimage. I was going to actually, uh, I've actually got a photo shoot I'm going to do this afternoon. But I got to go pick up the figures today at GameStop. Because action figures at GameStop are 25% off today. Just an FYI. FYI. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging my turtles. I'm. I'm. I'm actually uh, haven't had a chance to play a lot with them. Um. But I'm digging them. All right. Boom. There's your sign. Here's your sign. Now. The cool thing, and I usually want to do this beforehand, so just start looking at it and figure out, and the, and the beauty of it is that you can take your your uh, little hobby knife and just take the tip of it, and you can just sort of scratch it very lightly. And what that does is, I don't know if you'll be able to tell it because it's just a small hole, but you can put, pick the paper away and you can see the sign. And you can also put holes in them, whatever you want to do, like somebody's, you know, shot, shot a sign. But I usually want to, I like seeing a little bit of the, the metal. Sort of like, you know, give it a little bit more of a weathered look. And I usually take the back side of the blade here, not the blade side. And that's what I pick with. All right. So that's good enough for that. Now the next thing, and here, now here's the cool thing. Now you can use them straight, flat, if you wanted to. Put a little dab of glue, mount them directly to a diorama. I usually take them and pre-crinkle them a little bit turn this around so you guys can see this ooh Mesco Shredder I went out looking for some battle droids and didn't find any alright <laughs> hey Mikey so now you take it and you give it some dimension right and you can really see on the back side how much of a crinkle is in it. Now you ask yourself the million dollar question. Um, let's see if I got them in my... Yes, I do. The million dollar question is how do we display them? You got a couple of options. Um, these little shish kebab skewers, I like these. For a couple of reasons number one that sharpened tip you can actually use those and plant them in the in the ground so like harold you, you like doing a lot of outdoor stuff this little point right here boom stick it right in the ground you're good if you have a foam diorama you can boom stick it right in the diorama rock and roll and the only thing you got to do is you can take them and uh i usually take a figure and you're looking at eye level, maybe a little above, either way. Ooh, studios, good morning. Wow, I'm honored. Um, but typically what I do, I'll take the figure and I try to look at it from a perspective of ground level height-wise. And it doesn't need to be 
uh, exact. In other words, we're not going crazy here. Then once you get your sticks measured, black magic marker, some paint, boom, 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 you know, uh, however you want to do it. Now, here's the fun part. Hobby Lobby. We got Hobby Lobbies everywhere. And most of us have a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels very close by or within a good, easy driving range. So you go into the birthday section. And this is like something I started noticing a couple of years ago. And it's become a really good little party favorite. So this, I actually use these for my granddaughter on her birthdays. And that's what made me think of it. But you can go buy these things. All right? Little Bright Ideals. They're chalkboard stands. Right there. And you can see they're four bucks. And you get four of them. Now, the beauty of these, the little chalkboards are just hot glued on the back. They literally pop right off. Allow me to demonstrate. Literally pop right off. And you can get these in a multitude of different colors. So you can, I mean, white, black, red, orange, you can do whatever you want. So this is the way it comes, right? Boom. Don't throw these away because if you have really good penmanship and you can find a fine enough chalk, you can actually use these for some humorous little signs as well. So don't throw these away. These come in handy. Now, I usually go through and just clean off this little bit of excess glue. You can actually take your hobby knife and just scrape up the side of it. That gun's getting hot. Here's the thing I like about these. There's two things. Number one, you got a base and it's weighted. It's weighted. And it has a flat edge right there. Flat edge. Bam. So if you take a little stand and you take your little figure, look at there. Oh. So what I typically would do Put a little smidge in. I might need to reload my glue gun. I bet I will. Oh, there it went. Just a little smidge in the hot glue. Wipe the excess off. Come in right here. And you, uh, I tried, I did a little experiment using um, some uh, craft glue. Uh, the craft glue works, the craft bond. It just takes too long to, to set up and get hard. Right there, guys. One diorama stand with a sign on it. So if you take your, your dio, we got the uh, restricted area. Put that right there. Take our figure, boom. And now you have depth, you have dimension, you have a contrasting thing. You can actually, you know, be like, you know, hey, do I need to, it says caution, do I need to go in there? I don't know, do I? I mean, it's really, this is the beauty of me and the way I think and the way I photograph figures. I like the physical, I like the physical uh, aspect of it. I like creating something that I can use anywhere. And you can you can be really creative and you can make your own signs, like in Photoshop, or you can get uh, logos and stuff off the internet. And the only thing you gotta do is make sure and size it. Um, DK, my favorite turtle is Mikey. He's my favorite, he's still in the box. Uh, but the beauty of these are, I mean, they're they're tough. And they'll, and you've always got a base. And you can take these and actually paint them. You can weather them if you want to, uh, dry brush them. Um, the gray, I think the gray and the black, I think would be really good for the dry brushing because if you did the pinks and the, the neon greens and that, that might get a little um, 
polluted, I think is a good word. Um, but to me, this is the most simplistic, easiest way to add a sign to your action figure pop photography uh, for your dios. You can also make it two-sided. That's not problem, a problem either. Um, make you another one. And what I, what I would typically do with the two-sided one, cut both of them out, put them over the actual stand, and then you could actually use some hot glue or some two-sided tape, glue, uh, tape them together. But typically, one-sided is good enough. I mean, do you really want to photograph this side? No, you want it like this. But if you actually look at the, uh, the dimensions of it, He's actually, it's it's eye level with him. So could it be a little higher? Yes, it could. But that's okay. That's that's where you look at the depth depth ratio. I think they're right. That's right. But yeah, it's not a it's not a hard tip. It's um it's something fun. You can these things you get four of them. You can knock out four or five uh, little uh, dial signs to use with your action figures and uh, top pops. What's up? Um, and the thing about it is, you can take this with you, and you can go out to the city, out in town. I mean, you can come up with all kinds of interesting dynamics just with this and a figure and your iPhone and just go out and photograph you know authorized personnel only these are a little bit more um, I guess serious signs that's okay I mean you know we'll do this one here everybody likes everybody everybody can appreciate this one there's one stay there <laughs> just some simple easy tidbits and like I said, go to uh, the diotribe.com and they actually have a template for a steel door. They have uh, this here you can print out. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. The only thing you need is a printer. Oh, my, my pleasure. Is it is it Pusa? Am I saying that right? I apologize. I'm, I suck at names. I really do. Everybody everybody knows my YouTube channel knows I suck at names. Especially when it comes to Dragon Ball Z and <laughs> stuff like that. I am terrible. Got too much country in me. Funko Vince, what's up? So let's do the... Uh, let's do the employees only. Because the employees only... Uh, you could have a lot of fun with that even at your workplace. You can make a little sign and have a little fun at work. Yeah, everybody, congrats to Top Pops. Yeah. Killing it. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I can. The trimming part to me is the most tedious. I got another tip for you today too that's not necessarily dio related, but I uh, Hobby Lobby's like one of my favorite places in the word. Yes, I said it right. Um, yeah, uh, so Pusa, if you notice, I got a wheel too. So every Tuesday night, I spin the wheel. Uh, for all the people in the live stream to win a prize. That way they don't have to go comment or do a, a comment picker. Just whoever. And it's just for people in the live stream. I like to show that appreciation to the folks that hang out with me on Tuesday nights. Nice, Donatello. E4 phones, some nice cameras. You know, here's the thing, and I, Mary and everybody here, everybody has heard me say this time and time again. 
everybody knows I'm a photographer and that's my thing that's my passion that is the thing that I love more than anything well not more than anything but you get the gist the best camera you can ever have is the one in your pocket you do not have to have fancy lighting you don't have to have strobes and triggers and gels and soft boxes and umbrellas you do not have to have this some of the world's greatest photographers on this planet that have ever existed natural light natural light don't overthink this people do not overthink it um, it, it that frustrates me it frustrates me a lot because I, I'm not a um, to me it's not about gear I love gear don't get me wrong but you do not have to go out and spend five thousand dollars on a camera to take beautiful photos of a pop or an action figure I'll tell you you're crazy if you do it I'll, I'll straight up tell you that take your flocking iPhone or your droid or whatever you got and you can do some amazing work with this right here uh, you can go buy a point and shoot spend a couple hundred bucks you can buy a rebel TI you do not have to spend a ton of money and that that's the one thing I fell into the the, the gear trap and I call it a trap because that's exactly what it is uh, when I first got into photography um, it was I got some bad advice from someone and they were like you know you, you can't be a professional photographer unless you have this this and that and uh, I fell into a hook line and sinker and I'll, I'll, I'll be straight up honest with you I was an idiot an idiot a straight up idiot we're gonna do the clean one alright so we got employees only boom we're gonna wad this up a little bit get it crinkled A little bit and we're going to stick that bad boy ow <laughs> it never fails yeah Harold the rebel t6 guys just don't fall into that trap and it's a trap it's all it is and don't feel like you got to keep up with the Joneses you know don't there we go employees only Oh. So now, yo, bro, that's employees only. What do I do? You know, uh, Funko. I'm not building a di diorama. We're uh, we're doing uh, signs for our dioramas. You know, we're showing how to make some accessories to go with our uh, our dios. Oh. Right there. Boom. Andrew, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Easy breezy. And like and like I said, for four bucks you get you can get four of these for twenty seconds of time to print off a free sheet and go in your kitchen and grab some good aluminum foil. Don't but don't do the cheap stuff, seriously. The cheap stuff, um, It'll, it'll still it'll still work let me show you I actually did some on some cheap stuff the cheap stuff will work but but here's the big difference let me see if I can get one let me do this one so they both bend right so that's not the issue the issue is the cheap stuff will work but it's it it's a little too pliable in my opinion in my opinion that's what this is it's just my opinion the uh the Reynolds wrap heavy duty um it just it it feels better it just i, I just think it works better it works better with the glue it works better with the paper uh it just overall makes for a good sign and like i said earlier if you want to scuff them up back side of the blade right there just start picking it and if you want to be really crazy with it I know down here in the south you're always seeing signs that are uh, got about bullet holes in them I don't know what it is but people like 
shooting signs. Just take your uh, hobby knife. Be careful with it. Um, I'm doing this probably the entirely the worst possible way, but I'm weird like that. Just spin it around a little bit. And now you have a sign with bullet holes in it. Boom. Uh, a domino. The, the, here's, I thought about this long and hard. And um, when you, because this was my original ideal was these, these skewers. This was my first thought. It's wood. You know, I had a big old stack of them in the kitchen. Then I got thinking, how am I going to base it? How am I going to base it um, to where it'll stand on its own? And the first thing I thought of was the, if you take a, an electrical outlet, go to Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, and the plastic uh, electrical outlets, they have, they're called punch outs. And it's circles that you can punch out to run electrical wire through. I thought, oh, cool. I get one of those and hot glue the base or the punch out to this and I got a stand. Ding, ding, ding. These bad boys here. Like I said, they're pre-done. And here's the crazy thing. If you like this, right? If you like this and wanted to be really funny creative, you can actually take, uh, let's see here. I don't know if any of these are really do well, but you could take these and cut them out and actually hot glue them to these. You could actually make a design, you know, but that's not my cup of tea, but I think these would be great if you had a really decent penmanship, which I do not, um, and actually take some colored chalk and you could write whatever you wanted on it and basically create your own your own sign your personalized sign and it would be like that and sort of give you a, a tidbit so i mean it could be something funny you could draw an arrow there you could do whatever but like i said i'm not that gifted and i've never seen chalk that that fine to where i could like really write it like a pen you know I, I could be wrong though I've just never looked for it but again if you decide to go this route um, then once you get them out you just pop that off and you got your base pull this little excess you don't have to pull this off I just do that's just me can't pull live what's up um, but like I said, chalk, um, uh, speech fairies, chalk pens. Um, I, I personally have never seen a chalk pen. I'll, I'll have to go look for a chalk pen. But to me, if you wanted some, especially like this stuff right here works would work really good with, uh, you know, Legends, um, even, even Star Wars Black Series. Like I said, they're not humorous in a way, but you could. You could have some fun with them. You could definitely have fun with these. I like this one right here. I gotta, I gotta cut this one out. Then I'll show you this the other tip. This other tip I got, which I'm super stoked about it. And this is something right here. If you got kids, this is something you do with your kids. Make it like a family project. Um, which would be awesome. I'm a huge, huge believer in incorporating family. Um, matter of fact, I think uh, Dr. Applesauce, I think he's got a video. I haven't watched it yet. Um, something about him or your wife, I think, hunting or something like that. I just saw it. I hadn't had a chance to watch it yet. I thought, that's cool. Include your family if they want to be included. Trim this out. Turtle soup.
Oh, yeah. Kent Pool, man. Kent Pool's the man when it comes to Marvel Legends. I'm telling you that right now. I can tell you everything about Marvel Legends. So if you want to know anything about those, you need to ask Kent Pool. I'll, I'll embarrass myself. <laughs> But like uh, you guys have always heard, heard me talk about this before, I collect because of what I can photograph. Not necessarily, I do like what I get, but it's just that's my primary mission in life. All right, so we're doing the. I like this sign right there. Caution, un unauthorized people. Gonna we'll bend this little bad boy up. Jetta's in the house. What's up, Jetta? We're making uh, we're making signs for uh, action figures and dioramas. That's what we're doing. Get this little base a little bit more cleaned off. Ooh, I don't like that. Like I said, you can take your little uh, hobby knife and just give it a little bit of a edge scrape. Little dab of glue. Things gonna make me load up another glue stick. I know it's gonna make me. Man, where's my sign? I did one of these last night and I actually put it on upside down. I did a test run. And hot glue, I do think, is the best choice for this right now. Hey, I'm telling you, I, I love I love taking photos of my stuff. Like I said, beautiful day today. There'll be some photos done today for sure. It's vitamin D. So there you go, right there. One caution, unauthorized personnel keep out. Demo it one more time with my boy. Let me turn him this way. You know, we could actually, uh, let me see if I can, like, you know, sort of scratching his head, like, do I really want to stay out of there? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is just, like I said, guys, this is so easy. It's not hard. You, you've got just a little bit of time and very little money. Very little money. And that's what I'm all about. Let's save some money. Let's kill two birds with one stone. And let's say from here, um, you know, we just made this one. It'd be like, what am I... Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. I might let the glue have to let the glue set a little bit. Nope, right there. Just peel it right off if you're uh, done with it. Just peel it off, and you can reuse your sign. Just scrape the. Uh... So technically, you could actually uh, only have like a, one or two sets of these. Funko, Mikey's my favorite. Mikey's my favorite. But I did like that one, so I'm going to glue it back up. We'll put another dollop of glue. Another dollop. Another dollop of do you. Because I did like this one. I'm going to keep this one. Boom. Bam. Right there and like I said earlier if you have a, um, a dio and like some extreme sets you know they're they're made onto it they're printed with well, something like this um, you could actually here's the thing this is a printed piece of cardboard do not put it on there crazy tight Take just a little bit of maybe some scotch tape and just lightly place it on this because you don't want to damage this. But you could actually add a sign here and actually, let me crinkle this one. I ain't crinkled it yet. I'm actually going to go pick up some figures today that I'm going to photograph today. But all right, whoops. So right there, it's all crinkled up. Now the sign itself is not two-dimensional, it's three-dimensional. 
right there to where if you see this one over here it's two dimensional now we have three dimension because it's got the bends in it but I said I like having something that gives depth right there a little bit of depth photograph it you got this bad boy another little uh, tip I'm gonna try I'm not gonna talk too much about it but since I found these I'm going to um, I've got an idea in my head how to make a street light how to make a street light so that might be coming but so there's some signs we made this morning Boom! right there and as you can see they're perfect good eye level I mean technically they probably could have been a little bit taller but that's about it not that much more but these are still perfect the way they are and you can actually use these haha <laughs> here's another little tip um, see if I can get him these turtles have some crazy tight hands um, I don't even have another one but what let me show you this real quick so you could actually take the stand itself the sign that you just made and get him to hold it to where he's like getting ready to like punch somebody in the face with it <laughs> you know like bam you know like you're in an office building you know and you grab the hat rack and you pop somebody in the face with it so you can actually use the sign itself as an alternative weapon for a photograph uh, if you wanted to so double duty double duty signs all right let's put these away a little bit real quick and I'll show you something else that annoys me that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking these things off so I can put them in my craft box Put them in the craft box because we're only going to go for probably may maybe till 10 o'clock because I need to go to GameStop and pick up my figure. My figure. Get about 25% off today at GameStop. Clean up the mess. So I can photograph that bad boy. Got to get the figure before I can photograph it. All right, tip number two today is going to deal with pops. Oh, you can use these with pops too. It's not just six inch. These won't work with like the, the neck of the predators because the predators are too tall, but you can take them back. You know, you can take the figure backwards uh, towards you and it'll it'll make the height different change but anyway I digress so uh, what do we want to use what do we want to use okay so one of the biggest pet peeves that I have let me use this exam pop right here Shazam! Shazam! What did I do with my... I'm losing my mind. Alright. Now, the Shazam pop is not a good example. But you know how I am with pops that don't have these. And I really... Oh, you know what? Hang a minute. I think that one's a good one. I think this is a good one. To use yes slinky slinky dog thanks doctor I appreciate that there's nothing in these this drives me crazy there's nothing no back card I want back cards back cards to me add color they add depth to the box it's what you gotta have so once again, while you are at Hobby Lobby, they have these. They have sheets of paper. Ta-da! 
voila and the beauty of these are you take a card that you that you have and place it on the sheet on the back side of it and draw it out you can get four back cards from one sheet of this paper four back cards so I've already done this uh, I rough did this one so let's see what let's see what red does for slinky dog just out of curiosity I have not seen slinky dog yet with a any color in him but why Funko does not do this with every pop I do not know but there's slinky dog now with red behind him look at the difference that makes now red might not be the best choice I probably would do a yellow Boom. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I wish Funko just did a, a generic Funko back card. I'd be happy with that. But here's the thing that truly, truly makes me happy when it comes to doing projects like this. Number one, this was um, $1.99 right there from Hobby Lobby. $1.99. You can get four back cards out of it. Four. And you'll have this little strip left over. So unfortunately, I was sort of hoping to get more out, but hey, I'm sure I can find something to do with that. But so you can do four pops. All right. Now, you see these pops up here that I have in the Shumi pop protectors. So yesterday, uh, I went to a local bookstore. Uh, it's like a resale. That's a McKay's bookstore. And you can get pops there really cheap, and you can get them in bags. Uh, they don't have the little clamshells in them, which, which sucks. But um, uh, actually, you're right, Speech Fairies. It does go on sale. Um, it wasn't on sale yesterday, but this is the um, twelve by twelves. Yeah, but but still, two bucks, two dollars. We're talking about that's like two McChickens at McDonald's off the dollar menu meal come on uh, <laughs> but if you want to do whether in box like this right or out of box in the Shumi pop protectors now the uh, this pop here came in my uh, collect collector core box the angel pop and it didn't have a back card and you can see how bad inside that box looks because there's nothing there I didn't like that and I did not want to display this in box I wanted to display it in a Shumi soft protector so there he is with red right there now I don't know about you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a, a poll right now we're gonna do this live and don't feel bad about hurting my feelings I'm just saying this is with it right there and we're gonna do without. And y'all, y'all can be perfectly honest and tell me which way it looks better. With it or without it. Me personally, I say with. Just say it. <laughs> um the red might be I'm gonna, and you can experiment because once you cut these out. Construction paper, Mary, I think would work good. I like this particular paper because it has a, uh, a shine to it. It gives it a little bit of a, um, I don't know. It just looks, it looks better with the shine, I think. But this is something, seriously, guys, I mean, I'm hooked on displaying pops this way. Nia has created a, a, a fiend with me with this. And... There's just a lot of pops that we can find, um, you know, um, flea markets, yard sales, where the boxes might, uh, see Harold, they just might not be the greatest in the world, but you want to display them right there. Shimmy, shimmy soft protector right there. Spend two bucks, make you four cards. 
and that gives you a backdrop if it doesn't have one now a good example of a pop that I've been looking for is this Darth Vader from uh, Rogue One I've been looking for it the box is jacked I mean you can it's just jacked up I think I paid like two bucks for this pop something like that it was it was nothing but the box was just janky uh, try it Mary there's no right or wrong Bruce welcome from Scotland everybody give old Bruce a big hi how you doing but since this box is jacked up and I've been wanting this pop I didn't really care because I got it for like two bucks so once again shimmy soft protector now fortunately this one came with a card Raw is Ryan, thank you. And this is if you haven't seen this pop, this is this This is a cool looking pop. It's Vader. How cool is Vader? Vader's just awesome. Um but once again put him in the old shimmy soft protector. Put the card. Now, before I put the card in, let me show you what I was talking about earlier. We will use, I think I've got an ideal for my, uh, you know what, we'll, yes, we might do that with, yeah, let me get this piece of paper out right here, because we'll use this piece of paper. Um, take the card, face down on your paper. And just line it up get the old uh, ink writing stick and once you make this one set of lines right here you're pretty much done okay make that little line right there boom get the old uh, ruler ruler yeah I, I wanted to do this this one with this pop I'm not sure how the papers gonna look but I'm gonna try it anyway make that line man this I feel like this is craft time maybe I read re, re, should have renamed this video craft time <laughs> my point here with all this is just to show that not only can we buy our figures and our pops, but we can personalize them in a way that we like as collectors. Oh, I need my, uh... All right, Pooza, thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Where'd my... Oh, there it is. Duh. I'm going to keep this a surprise for right now. Because I... I want this to be I have not tried this one yet I don't know what it's gonna look like but I want to share it live I'm gonna share it live I'm gonna hide that piece of paper there I don't necessarily know if this will work completely but hey we're gonna try it all right let's put that down there all right, let's get back to Vader, because I used the card for a template. So let's get that bad boy down in the hole. Oh, it always helps when you uh, put the uh, put everything together properly. Get get Vader in there properly. Put his card back in so you don't lose it. I got to go by the P.O. box today. Um, Vaulted Vinyl sent me something, so uh, I'm not sure what they they sent me. So I got to go check that out. I haven't been to the P.O. box in a few days, so I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. 
go to GameStop, pick up my figures. And I'm not going to tell y'all what I picked up because I'm probably going to do an unboxing video on that one. But it's cool. All right. Now we got old Vader all primed. Got him in his home. Get him all locked, in, locked into his new house. There you go. Damaged box. A damaged box Vader. Oh, there it is. So you get a boogered up box right there. Pay a couple of bucks for it. Put it in a shoe saw protector and it looks awesome to me. And then you can come up here and put him up here. Boom. Voila. Done. Done. All right. So I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I'm going to use, I need to put him back up. So my Angus Young, this is another one of those pops that I truly love. I love it even more when I find the chase, but no, look, nothing, nothing. So I'm going to be a little secretive about this one. I'm going to be a sec secretive. I don't know if I'm going to dig it or not, but you'll get an idea of something... All right, so you can't really see it, but I put a backdrop behind him. And to be honest with you, I dig it myself. Even though you can't, it's, it's, it's brown paper. It's not like shiny or nothing. But I just, I saw this in, in Hobby Lobby and I thought this would be appropriate-ish. So let me show you. You know what? I've got another one cut. I'm going to leave that one in there. I'm not taking it out. So what I put behind Mr. Angus was this. Music notes. So, again, you can, I can see it pretty good. I don't know. You guys probably, but there you go. You can see a little bit in the background. But that's so much better than just a plain cardboard background. It gives it some dynamic. It just makes it a little dynamic to me. I don't know. Just This is just the way my brain thinks. My brain thinks. Um, an example, like with Dr. Seuss, if you could find some, uh, ooh, if you could find some, you know, cat in the hat paper or Dr. Seuss related paper, see, that'd look good with him. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, for a very, very, very small amount of money, you can take your pops to the next level. You can uh, be very creative with them, sort of customize them in a way that makes them your own, but yet doesn't diminish the value. Because this is just a piece of paper behind the pop. It will not diminish the value whatsoever. Um, and it just... To me, it looks better. You got the, with the shiny paper, you have, you can see the pop in it. It has reflections, uh, but you can experiment. You can buy all the different colors you want and just have fun with it and make you a little box and cut a bunch of them out and just store them in a little tote, little tote and there you go. So. But yeah, guys, that, I think that's it for today's little uh, tips. You know, we got some, we got some Dio signs made, we got some signs made for action figures, um, got some pop work done. I think I'm gonna put this other one behind my biggie. I don't know yet. I don't know, but this is the one complaint I have with Funko, is this right here. Uh, and, and like I said, if it was if this was generic and just said Funko, 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 Funko all over it, I would be happy with that. It's just these make a big difference in uh, pops, in my opinion, in my opinion. But yeah, so guys, I think that's gonna be it for uh, this morning stream. Uh, it's almost ten o'clock. I need to uh, 
head to the old post office. Need to get the motorcycle out. And uh, I think I'm going to enjoy it today. I know it's a little chilly today, but I don't care. The sun's shining. So, um, like I said, I got a video dropping tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Make sure and check it out. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not, why not? Make sure you got the notification turned on. But anyway, guys, uh, we'll go live again on Tuesday night. But I uh, hope you guys have a great work week uh, coming up. Hope your Monday is wonderful. And uh, enjoy what you got and just have fun being creative with what you got. There's no rules in this. It's your pops. It's your action figures. You can do whatever you want to do with them. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'm going to get outside and have some fun today. I hope you do as well. And I will see you next time.